Hello YouTube and welcome back to <coughs> Hello YouTube and welcome back to the room three. I am gonna be able to nail an opening for this series sometime, I promise. But in the last episode, we are in this clock. We nope, that's not the right, but we are in this clock. We diddled around with this box, got these things a moving, and went up these stairs, rang a bell, and got a bunch of things from it, ballerina statue, socket, and a handle, stuff like that. But you guys can't see that because you're looking at websites right now. These are just previews to the Fireproof Games main website, the people behind this game. The The Room 3 Steam Store page where you can get this game for about six US dollars. And the The Room 3 main website where you can learn more about this game. And that is all I have to say about that. It is still late. We are approaching 11 o'clock uh, my time, which is not necessarily late for me. I usually go to bed around 3, 3 a.m. But it's a little bit late for me to be recording. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I usually do my recording the first half of Tuesday and the first half of Sunday is when I record. And then I edit the rest of those days, but I fell really far behind today uh, for a couple different reasons. Blah, blah, blah. So, continuing on from the last session, we are going to put this handle onto the door with the gear in it and see what lurks beyond in there. But we are going to get right back into video games because that's what you're here for. And we're gonna put this on the door. Right, right smackaroonie on that door. Then I'm gonna pry it open with my big strong hands. Alright. I'll go down the spooky staircase into the basement of the clock. That's what I wanna do. That is something that I want to do today. I said to myself, if I ain't going into a basement in the clock tower today, then I'm not playing the room three. What am I? Wrong button. I'm hitting the wrong. That looks important. Hello. What do you have? Unlatch. Didn't expect it to- Oh! Something tells me you need a ballerina statue, my buddy. My buddy, my dude. A winding key? Okay. Well, basic knowledge tells me it goes in here. Because that's just where you put winding keys. Okay. Oh my. Uh, eh. But it doesn't fit. Eh. There you go. Nope. Ugh. Okay, okay, nope. Bingo, bam. Then in goes the key. Crank it up a little bit. Pop this open. It's the theme music. I love this sound, I love this song. Oh. I need her to get to the middle. Okay. Uh, bam! Huh? How do I... Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Go! There you go. Bingo. And then I can put the other one here. Okay, um, let me see. Hmm. Okay, go that way. Go that way. No, okay. Why is this lasting so long? What? Hmm. Okay, so she needs to go up that way. And then... Not there, but here. Go around the big guy. And then I'm gonna have her go onto that. Then she should spin around and go into the middle. Nice. Now kiss. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for your gem. You guys are beautiful. Alright, I'll see you later. 
That looks important right here. Can't get to it yet. All right. What else do we got going on? Hello, hello. Uh. What? Do you need a gem? Oh, you need one at the bottom. Wait, no. What am I doing? You got those two at the bottom. Do, should I just match them first? Okay, maybe I should match them first. So this one is like an arrow. An arrow, no. An arrow that is blue. Nope. No. Can I interact with these? Oh, I missed one. No, I didn't. What? Okay. What do I want? What do I want from this situation? And then this one we have just every other row is a different color. Hmm. Oh, okay. I did something. More bones. Those aren't bones. What the hell is this? Okay. What is it supposed to be? Those look like legs. That looks like no creature that has ever existed before. I'm unclear, but let me let me see if I can do that other one. So it's blue, red, blue, red. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Maybe they'll give us more pieces? I see. Okay, so the shadow's got to make something. So what are we making with this shadow? Bird. Oh, there's a bird. Oh yeah, that's a bird. And what is this? Oh, the other wing. Oh, gorgeous. It's a bird. A crow, maybe. Thank you. Now I have a crow key. Hopefully it's nothing like Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. With the crow key, and the mama, and the data, and the death. Um... Can I do anything with this? Some sort of crystal. Oh, wait, but there's a key, uh... To the birdcage. The, the box to the birdcage needs a key. So I'll go do that. Check out this bird over here, see what's up with him today. I still have the winding key, I didn't notice that. Okay. Hello, and a switch. And a sw- a sw- And a- A switch. There you go. Sorry! Sorry, I didn't know it was gonna drop you. That's my bad. I'm sorry, Birdie. No, I'm not interested in you. What? I can't click on the cage? Really? The bird went this way. Am I meant to follow the bird? Don't- oh, fuck, hi! Nice. Friendly helper bird. Thank you, thank you. Helping the cause. I love it.
animal companion. Just call me Snow White. Here we go. I say so much stupid, stupid shit. All the time. All the time. I wish I had statistics of the smart comments I've made and the stupid ones. Anyways. Okay. Well, I forgot how to do this. Okay, I just gotta guide this thing along its optical illusion journey. Oh, like this? Where does it need to be? It needs to get down to me somehow. No, maybe this way? Maybe like this? Maybe some of this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby boy. I just need you to get down here, dude. Hang on, hang on, wait. How do I get it? Hmm. Maybe if I bring it up, I can... Hmm, but I can't loop it around. Hey, come here! What the hell? No way! Come on! There you go. Boom! Alright, alright. Another hands of a clock. Um... Where else needs the hands of a clock? Is there another area of the box here that needs that? Can I put this on top? Oh, it makes the full clock! Delightful! And that... Is the shape of the winding key? It is! Alright! Oh! <gasps> Midnight? Yes! Boom! That's it. Nice! Fuck, okay. Now the clock is lit up. Impressive, you bested the ruthless mechanisms of the clock tower with humanity intact. The tolling bells mark progress, but not without hardship. Another chapter done! I'm killing it. I'm, I'm killing it right now. Killing it. Dying. It's dying because I'm killing it so good. Alright, let's put this bitch on the table. Was smack. <laughs> hmm. An optical device. Okay, it's got pins on the bottom of it. Okay. An optical device? Does it have anything to do with this? Does it fit here? Ah! I'm a genius. Okay. Need to redirect the light. Okay, no. It doesn't seem to want to lock into place there. So I must not need that one. Oh god, okay, uh. Can't seem to move the outside one. So it has to be done with this middle bar part here. Okay, did it on, on purpose. 100%, 110%.
Hello. That brick looks suspicious. I'm a genius. I'm a genius! Ha! Huh? Where am I? Am I in a box? Hello. What? What is happening? What? No, is that not what you want? What do I do? My goodness, I have no clue. Okay, hang on, let me back out. Not sure what I'm doing. Anything else for me to look at down here besides that? The craftsman, okay, very good. No? I would like the letter, please. The letter, there we go. Another test passed with all colors flying, and now the time truly is at hand. I promise you answers and answers you shall have. Every soul is unique, and so must be every trap that snares it. An altar of belief, a tome of answers, a crypt of terrors. For A.S., his box full of demons. Knowledge, power, sight, beyond sight, all lies, all just bait in the trap. This house was to be yours had you failed, but you walked free of it, as you have all the rest. I am certain now that you are the one I have sought, the one who will find the center of the labyrinth, the one who will walk free of this very realm. Okay, I'm gonna go through this way, because I don't know what that's about. Maybe I need something else for it to work? This feels a lot like Quarren all of a sudden. Okay, hello. Another one of these. Very good. Uh, just gonna touch it till it works. Just gonna mess with it till it works. Yes. Okay, okay, I got it. That one was not as easy as the other ones. Okay, and then we flip it a switch. Where are we going this time, Johnny? A cottage in the woods? That sounds awesome. Is it made of candy? I am assuming I'm gonna come back and figure out these. I feel like the game isn't over once you get the keys. I feel like there's something else to do. Alright, then we'll do this. Right? Oh, no, no, no. First we need to do the box. Flip the switch is. Push the button. Then we do the things. That's right. All right, what do we got? Oh, I see. Oh, uh, did I get it? Okay, good, because I fucked up a second after I was holding that. Nice. Not a fan of how down to clown my character is with going into the tentacle doors. I gotta say, that is the first warning sign I look for. Tentacle doors. Okay, hello. What fresh hell am I in? Spooky old barn. What's up, craftsman? Here you arrive at the birthplace of my enterprise in your final lesson. Here is where I began crafting my masterworks, and where you shall learn to do likewise. That which you seek is contained in the box on the table here. Accessing it will require the mastery of many tools. The first set of keys you will have to make yourself, but the final one is held ready for you. What is this? 
a leather case. What is in it is what I seek. Kindling. I literally have to make my own keys. Craftsman, you are a cruel, cruel bitch. Hmm. So I obviously need to get this somewhere else, but I don't seem to have the means. Kind of want to get a lay of the land here. Look around a little bit before we go gallivanting off into our outro. I think something's missing here. Okay. Same deal. Something's missing. Is everything... Oh, what's that? Looks important. Oh. Okay. I think these pegs must be here for a reason. They clearly are, but I have no idea what they are for. Awesome. So you know it's gonna be a good one, as I am stuck immediately. Two circular sockets. Doesn't look like they need any kindlings, so we are out of luck in that department. How about in this corner? What in the hell is this? Need a key. To unlock the door to the water. Why do I need that? What is that? What is this? Am I missing something? Wait. Stop with your spooky sounds. Oh, is this where the kindling goes? Okay. Okay. We're not sparking anything. Why not? We've got to pump the bellows. Why isn't it sparking? Do we need a igniter of sorts? Oh boy. What is this? Fire? No. Talisman. Oh, that looks great. What in God's name is that? Okay, there's so much happening. What is on the floor? What is that? Hello? Strange looking metal tile. You're... There's another one over there. What is this box? A key. What is that? What? What is it doing? It's lowering. Okay. I got established ground. Does this key go here? It does. Okay. So now we can take that off with the metal rod. And we can crack open this. Which gives us a lever. And when we pull it... It redirects the water. To the water wheel. Oh. This is turning, so something happens here. We're missing a main gear. We're missing a gear in there. Missing a gear. Okay, I have a metal rod. I feel like it's got something to do with this furnace. Feel like it's got something to do with the furnace. I don't... Hmm. What else could use a metal rod? Do you go in here by chance? Don't really see how you would. Let me take a look at the table. Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you go in here? No. 
It can't be that easy. Okay, what's up with this door? No, I can't. Rod? Is this just for fun? I'm having a good time? Oh my god, we're going for 31 minutes. Okay, we are going to stop right here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I said in the last episode. I get too into this, and we went to a new area, and I got away from myself. So, that is the end of this episode, guys. It's a little bit long, longer than I'd like it to be, but that is the end of our episode of The Room 3 for today. I hope you guys liked it. I am done recording for tonight. Uh, I'm just going to start editing, and hopefully I feel better when I wake up tomorrow after a good night's sleep, maybe. But, thank you guys so much for watching this video and for putting up with all of the mistakes I made last week. I really appreciate it. If you guys liked it, why not leave me a like or comment down below the video? If you like me, then why not subscribe today for some more content in the future. Please check out Fireproof Games if you guys have the chance. They are fantastic people, fantastic games, fantastic developers. Awesome, awesome, awesome people all around. Please check out the Steam store page as well for The Room 3, where you can buy this game for six US dollars. And The Room 3's main website will be in the description as well, where you can learn more about the game if you have an inkling to do so. That is it for me today, guys. I'm going to just sit back, edit a couple videos, have some snacks, and unwind a bit. Maybe some hot chocolate. We'll see. I don't know. Treat yourself and also take it easy. I'm trying to. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And please, have a fantastic day and turn out there wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. And please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next video.